Artists continue to chip and blast away at a monument honoring Native American legend Crazy Horse. The structure has been under construction for almost 70 years, but experts say it could take decades to complete. TV 1055's Mark Albert reports from South Dakota. A monument to Native American legend Crazy Horse is slowly taking shape high above the Black Hills of South Dakota. For nearly 70 years, crews have been blasting millions of tons of rock off the mountain. Sculptor Korchak Jolkovsky began construction here in 1948. His work on Mount Rushmore drew the attention of Lakota Chief Henry Standing Bear, who invited him to design a memorial to American Indians. 60 Minutes profiled Jolkovsky in 1977. He said, my fellow chiefs and I would like the white man to know the red man had crazy heroes too. And this is Crazy Horse's arm that we're on now. His daughter Monique now oversees the work. You're still going seven decades later. We are. Yeah, we are. Why is it taking so long? That's a big mountain. That's a big mountain. Crazy Horse's face was completed in the late 90s. Crews are now working to shape the horse's head and Crazy Horse's outstretched hand. In some spots, crews have just a few feet left of rock to remove. Finishing just the hand will take years. Drill a lot of holes and just take out one block at a time. Caleb Jolkowski is the third generation of his family to work on the project. It is hard from a mile away down there to see the changes. Since the time that I started, this hand area has changed immensely. Everyone wants to know, when is this going to be finished? That's a hard question to answer, so I don't have a exact day that you know if you love something and you get to work on it the rest of your life that is an honor native americans say whenever it's done it will provide a valuable education and ensure crazy horses place in history mark albert in the black hills of south dakota the work is privately funded through admission fees and donations in addition to the museum the master plan for the site includes an indian university of north america